Hey, are you gonna move your stuff or what? Oh, I'm sorry, mate. I don't know where to put it. There's no room. Yeah, tell me about it. Holy cow, I love your eyes. You've not stopped singing since we got back from the gig. I know, I've got these tunes stuck in my head. It's driving me mental. Oi, what's we your gob? No. I'm over. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the tickets last night. It was dead sweet. Yeah. I mean it. It was a brilliant idea. <laughs> Laters. Laters. Cheers, mate. What? Last night. You know, I was gonna make a move. Well, you heard what she said. You're sweet. So? Well, that's because she either sees you like a little brother or a puppy or something. Girls love puppies, so by your reckoning, I'm in with a shout. Tommy, she's a decent girl. She deserves to be treated right. And if you don't get in there quick, someone else will. <laughs> <laughs> He's got footballer's legs, this one. Gonna be another Georgie Bess, aren't you, lad? I hope so. You can buy some mansion in Alderley Edge, then. Oh, yeah. And Auntie Fizz can just live in a summer house at the bottom of the garden, eh? Chess, what time are you home? Well, same as usual, I suppose. Why? Just wondered if you could look after Joseph and need to nip into town for a bit. Take him, will you? Oh, no, it's a right faff, isn't it? Nappies, food, wipes. By the time you sort it out what you're taking, it's time to come home again. It's like you're on military manoeuvres. Yeah. Right, that's me. I'm off. I'll see you later. Yeah. I'd best get going, too. I'll see you later, mate. Yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Right, I love you and leave you. Oh, well, Dad, you have to go. Oh, I bet I'd only nip in because I'm working over the road. Oh, please. Like, it's not like anyone expects builders to arrive on time. Honestly, love, I really have to get going. Mwah. See ya. Can you put me in for a cut and glow? Ah, oh, um. So are you the receptionist or what? Um, no, no. I'm Audra. This is my summer. Oh. It's just that I'd come to you if I wanted a blue rinse, obviously, but... Uh, well, we do have other stylists. There's David and Maria. David will be in later. Yes. He'll do you a nice job. Do you work here and all? I'm not being funny, but is there anyone under 60? I'm nowhere near 60. David, you said? 21. Oh, good. And is he the one that does the nails and all? No, that will be Kylie, and she'll be back today as well. Oh, I'll knit back later, then. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Oh, what a right cheeky bag of Never mind about her. What about Kylie? Are you giving her a job back? <sighs> well, I thought about what you said, and yes, I am, but only on a trial basis to begin with. Well, she'll be delighted. <sighs> Do you know, I'd forgotten they were back from Barbados today. I mean, I must be losing my marbles, along with everything else. Have you had another funny turn? No, I'm fine. Good. But you are distracted, I do know that much. No, I'm not! Uh, distracted by an oily, silver-tongued, floppy head. Yes, thank you very much, girl. Just don't let him back into your life, Mum, that's all I ask. I don't intend to. Well, I don't want you turning up on my doorstep at midnight with a gin bottle in one hand and a box of tissues in the other. You've cried enough tears over men. Yes, I know I have. Yeah. Well, I only... I'm only bossing because I care. Oh, sweetheart, I know you do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't want to spoil a magic moment, but uh, you got any chocolate biscuits in the back? In the barrel, in the cupboards. Sofa's a bit of a nightmare. It's better than a shop doorway. Well, there's a bed set on Incoming Street. But if you want me out, just say. No, no worries. It's okay. Laters. Laters. You're late. So? Sat me. Well, that's dead mature, that is. Oh, yeah, because you're dead mature, aren't you? Running around after Kirsty all the time. Forget it. Hey, I don't know why you've got a face in anyway. I've every reason to. <laughs> I should be the one soaking after what you did to me. Well, you asked for it. You like the incredible local on steroids.
What are you doing here? You can't just let yourself in when you feel like it. No, I was just insulating the loft, love. I, I thought I'd be finished by now. Right, well, next time phone or text first. How was prostatin? It was lovely. We had a fantastic time. She's never even had an holiday before, bless her. No. Oh, I've just dropped her off at school now. We were cutting it a bit fine, but, you know, who cares? You know what? She struck gold when she got you for a mum. I bet she can't believe her luck. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> I've done the quotes, worked out the timings. Looking good, girl. Great. We make a good team, you and me. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Hope these do the job. Oh. Oh, they're fab, Fizz. Thanks. Oh, Jenny's gonna love these. Oh, good. Right, anything else you need, just give me a shout. Thanks, love. Um, you're meeting her this afternoon, aren't you, Jenny? That's right. I could come with you, if you like. Mum's back soon. No, thanks. We'll manage. Well, if you're sure. Yeah, I'm positive. <clears throat> you know me. I'd bend over backwards for this business. Just back off, Frank. Oh, Michelle, don't be like that. We're all on the same side, aren't we, Carla? I know. Can I order a cab? I'm off to see a flat. Ten minutes. Right. We've got to move out of our old place. Really? Mm. The landlord and the neighbours have all ganged up against us. Nightmare. It's jealousy, pure and simple. Yeah, you must get that a lot. It's our Craig. He's musically gifted. Oh, you should see him on his bongos. That'd be a treat. Steve, can you pick Amy up from school, please? Yes, though I am working, which is more than I can say for you. Hey, you! I was talking. Yeah, well, now I'm talking. He wasn't listening anyway. He was? He was completely glazed over, love. I was borderline alert. Steve, I have seen that look a million times. The lights are on, but nobody's home. Shut up, Tracy. And do one, will you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. ten minutes. Hello. Oh! Goodness, the wanderer's return. Hello, sweetheart. Hi, Kyla. Look, ten times more lethal than a gin and tonic. <laughs> Rum? I'm supposed to be on a health kick, me. Since when? Oh, well, never mind. After every glass, I'll have to do a power walk round the red record. <laughs> now that, i got to see. Well, if nothing else, I shall feel very smug. Now, come on, never mind about me. How was the holiday? It was fantastic. Becky's one lucky cow. Yeah, and her and Danny, they really loved up, and uh, she's great with little Billy and all. Yeah, you're right, she is lucky, Becky. She's found her happy ending. All too rare in life, really. You're in a funny mood. What's up with you? Oh, nothing, nothing. Just ignore me. Right, I better go shove some letters through people's letterboxes. Uh, mm. Now, save your shoe leather. Eh? Why don't you come back and work here if you want? Honest. Mm, fresh start. Well, thanks, Gran. Oh, thank you so much. I promise I'm going to work dead hard. In fact, I'll start right now. Yeah, well, I'll be watching you, ladies, so think on. <laughs> so, Gran, what's new? You missed out good. Oh, well... you got to be kidding me. Hello, David. How are you? What the hell do you want? I'd like to speak to Audrey. Well, you've got a nerve. Am I missing something? Right, you, out before I rearrange your face. I don't blame you for how you feel. Oh, that's big but of you. there's really no need. Yeah, well, I'll be the judge David, of David, come on, now calm down. Lord. Grant, you can't just turn up here like this. Who's he think he is? Who is he? Walking back in here like nothing's happened. Well, what's happened? Look, Barbados is a long way away. I'm sure you both must be very jet-like. No, we're yeah. not. David, please. I'd, uh, I'd like to speak to Lewis in private. I want to say to you, you, 
Here you are again. I lost you once, Audrey. I will not lose you again. Didn't lose me. You threw me away. Time to move on to the next stupid woman, was it? Don't say that. No, come on. I know exactly what I was to you, Lewis. A fool. Just the latest in a long line. I genuinely fell for you, Audrey. So that's why you left me in the lurch, was it? Because you fell for me. And I did what I always do. I walked away. But you made me break a habit of a lifetime. I found I couldn't take your money. Well, what do you want? A round of applause? Well, you made me change, Audrey. Don't you see that? I fought it. Of course I did. I like not caring about people. It felt liberating. But you made me care. Most of us sleepwalk through our lives, Audrey, and I'm no different. But you woke me up. You made me see the world through new eyes. Do you know, I can see how you've earned a living conning people. You are good. You're really good. I give you that. No, really. No, listen. I'm not falling for it again. Not this time, Lewis. I just want you to go and not come back. You don't mean that. The... You are so arrogant. I've said I don't want to see you again, and I mean it, please. If you've got any respect for me at all, you'll do as I ask. school. I know what you've done. I don't know what you're on about. My mum used to do that to me. She used to go to the pub. I've only been gone a few minutes. Sometimes bingo. Ten at the most. And this one time, she went out clubbing all night. The neighbours dobbed her in and social services took me. She was probably quite relieved. Would you be glad if they took Josie? No, of course not. Can I come in? He probably needs a cuddle. Yeah, sure. Oh, look at his little face. If you're that fast, you go and talk to him. I don't get you sometimes. He is lovely. And he's trouble. End of. All right, Smyla. Funny. Come on, tell Auntie Tina all about it. Do you know what to tell? I beg to differ. Now, come on, what's up? Tell me. I'm done. What do you mean you're done? Just think it's time for me to move on. Oh, no way. There's nothing round here for me. I don't even have anywhere to live. I thought you liked stopping at Jason's. Yeah, I, I do, but it's a two-bedroom flat and he's already dropping in. Right, well, I'll have a word with him. Don't bother. Don't point me staying where I'm not wanted. You've got a job. You've got mates. You've got me. Do you really mean that? Well, I'm a good mate to you, aren't I? Yeah, well... Right, well, let me treat you to a pint. A free pint. Put a smile on your face, yeah? Do you know what? Sometimes I could bang your flaming heads together. These are fabulous. And they're just... Not that you like to brag or anything. <laughs> well, there's no doubt your machinists have got the skills. Oh. But I'm worried you won't have the manpower to fulfil the order. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, we've got extra stuff on standby as we speak. Peace workers. Yeah, you just sign on the dotted line. It's all steam ahead. Sounds like a plan. Hi. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Frank. I've been hearing a lot about you recently. Oh, don't believe everything you hear. Look, I'm sorry to interrupt. I just thought you might need a bit of help with the planning. Um, no, I think we've got everything under control. Thank you. Yeah, it's just that I've managed orders of this size before, unlike you, if you don't mind me saying. And that makes you an expert, does it? Carla, I'm sure Jenny doesn't want to sit there and listen to us bicker. Look, I'll... I'll leave you to it. I'll go. Sorry. Nice to see you again. <clears throat> um, 
I'll get some more drinks in. Okay. <clears throat> I can't believe you're still working with him. Yeah, well, it can't be helped really, Jenny, you know, for the sake of the business. He attacked you. How can you even bear to be in the same room as him? Well, we don't really see each other that much, and um, we're responsible for our own clients. It's a recipe for disaster. No, no, we, we hardly see each other. I mean, he's in one bit of the office with his psychic Sally, and it's just me and Michelle then in the other bit. I've got every admiration for you. I really have. You're braver than I could ever be. Honestly, we can make this work, I promise. Believe me, the last thing I want to do is add to your troubles, but... Jenny, please don't pull the plug. Look, I'm so sorry, but I can't work with you while you're in this situation. It's just too big a risk. You did good with him. My last foster mum had twins. They used to follow me around like little ducklings. Thought I was the mum. Stay calm as were you. You don't fancy looking after him for a bit, do you? Can if you want. Got the afternoon off anyway. School flooded. Right, well, I won't be long. I just need to get some nappies and stuff for Joseph. You go. I can look after this little fella. Right, but if anyone knocks on the door, you ignore it, OK? Katie, stop stressing. I'm not some stupid kid. You know, I've never seen Becky so chill. Yeah. And that Danny, he won't let her lift a finger. Just running around a hotel all day, not doing a tap. You should see the tan on her as well. I loved having tan feet. Well, you know when you wear flip-flops and your feet go that lovely brown colour? It should feel all free and bohemian. Oh. Hi, Mum. Got your gin and tonic? Well, thank you. I need it. All right, Steve. Becky sends you a love. Oh, does she? No. She said you're dead to her. She's as happy as pig in muck, and who can blame her? She's in love with a top bloke, brilliant mum to his kid. She's got the sunshine, see, Sam? I told him. Ah, not brought your little mate along? If you're talking about Lewis, I've packed him off with a flea in his ear. Well, I know you, ma'am. He'll start sweet-talking you, and you'll go all gooey over him. I don't go gooey. You do? I have told him in no uncertain terms to stay away. Now, please, can we order some lunch before I get a little bit? Going swimming? Sort of, hopefully. Come again. I've had a problem. You see, Tracy got the shower, I got the kitchen sink. You try having a strip wash, and Monk still remains of last night's curry. So I was wondering whether I could use your shower. Honestly, Steve, what are you like? Well, I'm trying to make the best of a bad job. Only I've got an upset eyelid now, I know. Oh, what's it got to do with her? It's all in all me glory. Through the kitchen window. Oh. Put her off a of cocoa pops. Well, I told her to stop moaning. There'd be women queuing to cop an eyeful, but it's not happening. I don't know why you're doing this to yourself. I'm doing it to Tracy, aren't I? Whatever makes her life a misery is fine by me. You can have that shower, I won't. <laughs> all right, just this once. But if I were you, I'd put an end to this all now. Why don't you just go and poop in the cab off his flat? I'm not moving away from that house. Why should I? I flipping paid for it. No, oh, trust me, I am going nowhere. Watch it! Whatever. I was just trying to knock me out. I ate all this. Me too. But when we're not getting on, it's like the day's twice as long. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry for going psycho the other day, but you was horrible to Kirsty. I just lost it. I'm sorry, mate. So we're cool, then. Cool, lass. Come on, then. Turn that frown upside down. <laughs> it's Tina, isn't it? What about her? Well, I thought we were getting closer. And? She just wants to be mates. Nothing else more, and it's doing me in. What have you told her? There's no point. She's made it pretty clear that nothing is ever going to happen between us. You didn't cut me fringe, though, ma'am. It takes two minutes. I mean, I'm beginning to look like a Shetland pony. Oh, I say, now what's all this? Your admirer sent them. You must have more money than sense. Yeah, someone else's money. <sighs> It'll be a distraught woman of a certain age has paid for them. For goodness sake, Gail. He sent a card oh. as well. I won't give up on you ever. All my love, Lewis. Aww. Kiss, kiss, kiss. You know, you should have let me bat at him. 
I think it's dead romantic, this. It's like some out of a film. Right, that's it. I'm going to track him down and slap him. Yeah, I don't usually agree with violence, but I'm willing to make an exception. Look, I will deal with this. Oh, <laughs> we know where that'll lead you. Get your... Straight back to heartache and humiliation. Look, will you stop being so flaming and patronising? I do know my own mind. Yeah, usually you do. Oh, come on, let's be honest. When it comes to blokes, you two, you've got something missing. Excuse me. No, stop it. All of you, just stop it. Now... I'll go and see Lewis and I'll tell him to stop all this nonsense. You're better off ignoring him. Look, look, enough, Gail. Now give me the name of the florist. You're walking straight into his house. Look, not another word from you. Or from any of you. Otherwise I won't be responsible for my actions. Are you still here, then? Right, so. You look like a yeti. Well, they say a change is as good as a rest. I hope you don't mind, I was part. I don't begrudge you a tea bag. I'm not that petty. So, do you happen to have a biscuit in one of them bags? Don't push your luck. Right, well, I'll finish off and get out of your hair as soon as.